even a rock pool can be artificial. All right, so it's artificial, a miniature reproduction of nature's talents. But it also reveals a trend which is reflected here at these Hertfordshire water gardens. Flowers, it seems, are not the only essential for the gardener who likes a splash of colour. Fiberglass. That's the secret behind the growth of this gardening revolution. A spray gun which fires fibre splinters does the waterproofing job. It saves that laborious task of cementing when you can just slip a pool into place. Your own imagination can complete the picture. Or if you like, a pebble pattern pond can do it for you. You now have fashion in your garden, water fashion. And colour too, if you select any of the water plants which are cultivated in these tanks. Plants with exotic names like Nymphia water lilies bring an oriental flavour to your pool. They thrive in these tanks until they're strong enough to withstand any treatment from our temperamental climate. Flowers to decorate the surface, fish to swim beneath it. Even that's been taken care of. For it's care indeed which is needed to breed these goldfish and shibunkins. They come in all sizes, these ornamental fish, so all the vital statistics must be worked out before dispatch. It's here, in classified tanks, where any undersized specimen will really get that sinking feeling. You've probably seen those tiny goldfish swimming around in plastic bags on a fairground stall. Well, that's the way they leave this farm, with just a whiff of oxygen to make sure they keep in swimming trim for at least four days. Take a deep breath, because here's what we mean by air mail. We're back where we started, admiring a man-made copy of nature. Those china clay pits were impressive, yet not such a delight to the eye as the ponds and tumbling rock pools at these water gardens. But who can forget the grandeur of Table Mountain, a spectacle which really proves our point that there is really no substitute for nature's beauty.